compression versus downsampling. This is where IT and O2 people often talk past each other. So lossless compression keeps every single sample. It just stores them smarter. So think of a zip file. You unzip it and you get exact the same bytes back. Now, time series databases do exactly the same. For example, Timescale's background job rewrites all chunks and claims it shrinks disk space by about 90% without dropping a single point. Now, lossy compression, better called downsampling, is different. Here you throw data away on purpose because the extra precision adds no value. Report by exception, publish only when the value changes at all. Dead band, publish only when the change is bigger than the sensor noise. And swinging door trending looks at the small window and decides if the new point changes the overall slope. Example, a furnace cannot jump from 230 degrees to 231 degrees in just one milliseconds. This is just impossible. Those deviations are just sensor noise. Filtering out reduces network traffic and load on the unified namespace right there at the source. So the two techniques are complementary. First, apply a lossy rule like deadband or swinging door trending online to reduce real-time traffic. Second, store what remains. Then let the database run its lossless background compression to squeeze storage even further. Next up, we'll dive into the first online rule, the classic deadband, why it's easy, where it breaks, and what to watch out for. Stay tuned.